Hi folks, nice to see you again. I'm glad you're here. Uh, this is the interior video of the 190 VRB. It's a 2022 model, just got here. Uh, we have already done the exterior video. I hope you uh, watched that if you were on our website. Now we're going to focus on the interior. Uh, we talked about weight and length. We're going to repeat it again. 22 foot 10 inch overall length. 3850 is a dry weight. Uh, it's the best selling floor plan in a couple's trailer in this size for us. Uh, God for <laughs> quite a few years and there's good reason for it. Everything is in here. It's compact. There's no slide out to worry about. The whole trailer is usable when you're on the road. You do get a sofa. You do get a queen size bed that you can actually walk around. This is one of the features that uh, a lot of people don't like about Murphy bed. Uh, there's often a box here preventing you from getting to the side of the bed which makes it um, getting in and out of bed a lot harder. So, but not with the Venture uh, product. So this is where I'm going to start. At the front, we do have a window. There is a pleated shade there. They cut the shirt closet to leave you a little bit of room behind. There is on one side a power outlets and on the other a USB outlets. Perfect for the CPAC machine, if you ask me. Uh, shirt closet, very nice. There's also two lights, one on each side. Shirt closet, real bar, full heights, the little closet above. Gas strut to hold the doors up, pretty nice. Now on each side of the bed at the front, there's also power. So right here by our bed, there is three power outlets and a USB outlet. Now you're looking at it in the Murphy bed or in the walk around queen size bed version. Uh, one of the things that I really like is look at how much room there is from the edge of the cabinet to the back. That means you can leave your pillows, you can leave your blankets, if you choose to put a topper, you can leave it on. It would all fit behind. And we are talking about literally about a, huh, we'll be generous, six, seven seconds. All you need to do is to fold it. And here we go. It's done. Put your sofa up. Done. Now there is storage underneath the sofa as well. So you can, you know, store some extra shoes there or whatever it is that you want to bring a case of water or something like that. Same goes for when it's time to put the bed down. If you put it down, as you notice, there was plenty of room to walk around it. It's not necessary, but the day that it's not very nice outside and you're stuck in your trailer, you're going to be pretty happy to have a different place to sit than the dinette. And the sofa is very comfortable as well. So you just have to fold flat your sofa, bring the, the Murphy bed down, and then you're set. Now, big improvement this year. Big, big window on this side. Normally it would have been half that size, but uh, they made the window much, much bigger. And also opens uh, to let a lot of air in. A nice little frame. You can actually, it's Velcroed on the wall. You can just un-Velcro it and put a picture in if you want. By the entrance, on the other side, there is a motion detector light right on the top. So when you come in, the light can come in. And right at the end of the cabinet, we have a place where we have the light switch and the awning switch as well, a power outlet and a USB outlet. So a good spot to leave your phone when you go camping if you don't want to be uh, connected to the rest of the world. Now all the blinds or all the windows have the pleated shade blinds as well, uh, except for the one in the kitchen. It's a fire code, it's close to the stove, it needs to be an aluminum blind. All right, so this is where we're at, the kitchen. It's a nice, uh, it's complete. It's a little smaller. There's not as much counter as we would like to, but it's all there. So first of all, counter is thermal foil. It's all sealed. The water's not gonna get it in between and uh, make it swell. It's, uh, it's a nice unit. Undermounted stainless steel, farmer style. It's very deep, it's very large. It comes with a drying rack as well. I'm a big fan of this little thing here, but also comes with a cutting board if you want to. It fits right here on the sick and it's going to give you some extra counter space. A nice little tap, some storage below, plywood made drawers, ball bearing hardware, the whole drawers comes out. You don't need to reach to get to the uh, cutleries and, and utensils. A decent sized cabinet on the top. Uh, quite frankly, you put a shelf in here and there's plenty of room for all the dishes you would, you would need. A microwave. Range hood, we talked about it. It's actually vented outside. Tree burner stove, flush mounted glass top. There's a little cast iron grill here that I really, really like. Uh, there's a little light for the knobs. 
I really like that. If it reds, it's on. An extra security, if you forget to turn the burner and the flame goes out, it's going to tell you. So just by noticing that one of the knob is red, it's a nice safety feature. I'm really, really liking that. I really like that grill. It's, uh, I love the quality of it. Uh, oven, a little bit on the smaller side, but uh, it's all here. It's animal finish. Works very well, and there is also a light inside. Your furnace right here, very centrally located. Your fridge and freezer, the Norcold. Seven cubic foot fridge. There's an extra shelf there. I like the finish of the Norcold fridge. Um, freezer is very big as well. There's a little lip here. You can definitely put all the, the goods that you need for a long time camping. Some extra cabinets right here. Plenty of room as well. Maybe a good spot for the Tupperware. Your table, definitely two people. Four if you really love each other's. Uh, that converts into an extra bed. Above, there's a skylight. If we're outside, there's always natural light coming in. We have a central AC here as well. <clears throat> right beside that extra cabinet here, we do have a AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary, and HDMI, but it does read DVDs, and it's connected already to the TV that is installed. Uh, it's ready for uh, the Wi-Fi extender from King. Now it's not on it, it's pre-wired for it. So there is something on the roof. If you choose to put it on, uh, it's just a question of installing it on the roof. There is storage underneath both this uh, dinette seats as well. All the way, the space has not been used for anything else but storage. On this wall right here, we have uh, the level mate. It's uh, something that uh, Venture is using. It's a little device that's going to help you level your trailer. You download an app on your phone. It's going to tell you when you're side to side level and when you are perfect. And then it's going to tell you when you're front to back level. Just by pushing the button on the electric tone jack, you'll be set. After that, you put your four stabilizer John down and you're good to go. Um, your camera stand right here. And it's also ready. This room is also ready to receive uh, the, um, uh, the air pressure in your tire. So the tire link uh, monitoring system. So they put the pod there. If you choose, you want to put it on. Uh, it's a little kit, something that you're going to basically just put on here. And you're going to put uh, four little uh, valve stem, different valve stem on it. And it's going to communicate to this little device, which in turn will communicate to your uh, cell phone through an app. Everything is app ready right now. All right, so bathroom. I guess uh, this is the room that sells this trailer. It's huge. You can actually come out of the shower and have a place to dry yourself. It's a beautiful shower. You got six foot and some in the shower there. There's a place for the linen. There's a porcelain foot flush toilet with a self-closing lid. A huge vanity, stainless steel sink, medicine cabinet, and an extra hanging closet. There's a light switch on the wall. Your monitor panel is right here. Uh, power fan and a motion detector light on the ceiling perfect for leaving that one at night if you come to the bathroom the light will come on on its own folks again 22 foot 10 3850 great little trailer to tow seven and a half foot wide 10 of axle it tows like a dream this is a beautiful product uh, we can't keep those in stock folks i think we've done it thanks for watching